Hi, I'm Athena, and you're about to watch the Online Prosperity Show, where I'm going to show you how you can build a business that lets you travel the world. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show, and today we've got the business and mindset coach herself, Athena. Athena, how are you today? I'm really good. Thank you for having me on today. Fantastic. I should actually call you the traveling entrepreneur, shouldn't I? Yeah, I've got that label on my website. Yeah. Great stuff. Now, Athena is a business and mindset coach that would help you grow your business um, or your service best business online, or you can travel with it wherever you want. Now, Athena, how is that possible that people can travel while doing whatever it is that they actually love? Well, we live in an era of digital marketing where absolutely everything can be online. So as opposed to this um, very older style of seeing clients one-on-one -on -one in person, we just take that model and we bring it online. And then um, we can also grow our client base internationally when we're not confined um, by local marketing. We can grow it internationally as well if we can um, use digital marketing to expand our base understandable obviously um viewers you would know that on this show we help you to have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and that's the reason why we bring in um, experts like athena to actually help us figure out how um, most of these uh things are possible now you yourself athena you are based in sydney but you're mm -hmm. coming in from the czech republic right um, leaving in a couple of days to go to the Czech Republic. Yeah. Great stuff. Tell us a little bit about your story from coming in from the Czech Republic to Sydney and mm -hmm. now having built up this business that's also helping others, um, you know, you know, mm -hmm. get their business to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I was actually born in Dubai and I spent a lot of time there, but my background is Czech. So just this traveling, it was always in my blood. It was, I just knew that it was something that I always wanted to do and that whatever I did, I'd find some way to incorporate it into my work. Um, and when I first started in my business, uh, it was service-based. I was working, um, doing a lot of life coaching, a lot of spiritual work, um, just service-based with clients. And I saw that a lot of other people, um, were doing it online. So I started to grow and move online with this service-based um, work I was doing with my clients. And one thing led to another, and I really got into the knack of this digital marketing and understanding how to um, grow my business. And I started to see a lot of international clients. And as opposed to my day being going to um, the clinic I was originally working at and seeing clients there, I began to see more and more and more of them online as they were finding me online and were usually in a different city or a different country to um, where I was. And then naturally from there, um, more practitioners and coaches began to ask me, how can I do what you're doing? How can I actually make my business online so I can just travel and um, go where I want and I can still work from there? And so I began to teach um, other service-based entrepreneurs how they could actually bring their uh, business online. And that gives them the freedom to set our uh, schedule as we would like it and also to travel where we want to and work from there. Understandable. I mean, obviously, the world has become um, a global village and we need to really start thinking outside the 24 hour box, um, mm -hmm. which exactly is, you know, you can get your clients from anywhere else. And that means you get to work with people you absolutely want to work with. So I really commend you mm -hmm. for having mm -hmm. chosen that path and, um, you know, fulfilled your own life dream there. Now, there's a lot of complications that would happen with somebody working from from the outside and there's a lot of going outside of your comfort zone now what sort of advice would you give to somebody who's probably looking at you and envying that lifestyle but <laughs> is probably not um psychologically prepared um what what are they to expect and you know, what sort of life do you have to lead if you're going to be working from wherever you want? Yeah. So a lot of the clients that I do get are via social media. So that means my social media is totally 100% transparent. It's visible. Everything I do my whole life, it's on social media. And that's how I create these connections. I show the social proof and I get a lot of, uh, most of my clients, they come directly through my Facebook. They'll message me and want to book in via that way. 
So um, it's definitely not to be, to get most of your clients online, you'll want to be very transparent and open about your life. Um, so you can create those connections easily online. And you also got to be comfortable constantly stepping out to live streams on Facebook, amazing algorithm for Facebook and getting yourself out there. Um, and usually when I do them, it will result in clients, but there is a lot of that anxiety and nervousness of getting live in front of an audience. So if you're struggling with that, um, the first thing that I would recommend is getting a mindset coach, someone to actually help you be totally comfortable with going online and sharing your message, who you are and your life um, on the online world. Cause it can be a bit of a transition, especially if you're used to keeping everything private, which I was. So that transitional period, it can be a bit intense, but you get used to it. And over time it just feels totally normal to just share everything with everyone online. Understandable. So, you know, like you say, if um, your life ceases to be private, does your life stop being private if you become a digital nomad? Yes, I would very much say so. It depends on your online strategy. Um, so mine is very much heavily through social media. So I still get um, quite a few clients through my website because uh, it's optimized through the search engines and that. But most of my clients uh, come through me through this connection on Facebook. They'll find me on Instagram through these networks. And because of that, they want to know me instantly and have that connection, which means I don't really hide anything. Understandable. So when, you, when people are traveling around, you know, having that lifestyle business, mm -hmm. what sort of equipment do they actually need to set up a business that's profitable and enjoyable? Okay, so there are a few little... Um, a few little things I'll show you. I've got one of these. Oh, wow. So it gives me good lighting <laughs> whenever <laughs> I'm doing my live stream. So that's one of the things that I use. You need a laptop, you need a microphone and some systems on your computer. So systems that allow you to schedule appointments, run it, take online payments. Um, and that's about it. It's very inexpensive. Yeah understandable because some people would think if i'm living the nine to five job all mm -hmm. the printers um you know all the double monitors at work that i was using how am i going to fit all of that in a backpack so <laughs> that's the reason why i was mm. um, you know asking that um that question now with what you're doing you're helping people grow their business and create mm. massive impact and mm. living life on their terms can you just explain to us what all that means because to a lot of people that is a lot of mumbo jumbo uh, <laughs> but if you would explain it and i know it, it carries a bit of weight to it so growing your business starting off yeah Absolutely. So a lot of people, they come to me because they want to create a business. They might already be seeing a few clients and they're just like, I really want to create a solid brand and get myself out there. And so that's that first part of it, actually creating it, establishing it and beginning to grow it through the social media and digital marketing strategies that we can use. Um, the next step is a lot of the people that I work with, they have this very, this deep desire to impact lives, to make a change in the world. And they've chosen to work, um, with people because they want to help them essentially. And so I've put there to have an impact because people want to make a huge rapid, uh, rapid and massive change. And when we get online, we can reach an audience of hundreds or thousands of people if market uh, marketed correctly. So it's not only just about having that lifestyle business, but about being to reach a much bigger audience, much easier. Um, and then living life on your terms. That means creating your schedule as you would like it and working also working with who you want, being very specific about it. You don't have to work with someone you don't want to and working from where you want. So having that total freedom as well. Understandable. So your dream has always been to create massive impact, which you are doing. And that's the reason we've got you on the show today, while you're also helping other practitioners and coaches to step into their power and to expand their business and to actually reach even more people. If somebody's watching this episode right now and they're sitting at the edge of their seat wanting to get a hold of you, Athena, what's the best way that somebody can uh, get a hold of you? 
Absolutely. So I'd recommend go and finding me on Facebook, Athena Bailey, because um, that way I can be in contact with them. They can follow me. Otherwise, there's always my website, www.athenabailey.com. Understandable. So you also help, um, you know, entrepreneurs create multiple streams of income that allow Absolutely. them to, to live a life that they actually want with total financial freedom from wherever they might be based. Um, about the multiple streams of income, can you give us maybe a couple of examples of things that you would, um, you know, teach somebody just in case they're watching this and they're mm -hmm. like, okay, mm -hmm. how am I going to be supporting the, the lifestyle? Yeah. And that's the beauty of an online business that we can have these automated marketing systems that can create us constant automated passive income. So one thing that, um, I recommend to some of my clients and they use are these trip wires where they'll do a small, they'll sign up. Um, they'll have a client come up to their website. They'll sign up for a free offer and then there'll be a small upsell after they've signed it up for a small program or a small book or something. And that's the form of getting that passive income. And we, also want to move into smaller um, group coaching programs that are also automated. So people are receiving videos, online courses. That's um, a really, really big one with coaches and practitioners. Um, and if you can set them up so that they're automated, uh, it can be such a great source of passive income, especially because they provide a lot of value. So they can be priced a little bit higher. So there are all these different price points that we can use um, to create this passive income understandable well athena actually has you know brought it all home right now and is really trying to elaborate that you are worth it and you actually deserve it and your gifts and talents need to be shared with the rest of the world so she has told you how you can get a hold of her and also um you know how you can bring out your message to uh reach out to as many people as you actually dream to now Athena, thank you so much for your time today. And, you know, really hope you're going to have a safe flight back home to the <laughs> Czech Republic on your, is that a holiday or are you actually going to work there? Well, I'll be working because I'll be seeing some of my clients, but it's also um, spending time with my family over there. So a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Great. No, just one other thing before we um, let you go. <laughs> Maybe somebody really is thinking about doing this and they're just stopping themselves dead in the tracks. What sort of advice would you just tell them to let go? I'd say just do it, get visible. And if you don't have one, get a, web, get a website. It forces you to get visible. It's going to get you out there. It's going to get you out there in front of your target audience. Um, and it's going to start to build your authority online. So if you don't know where to start, just build a website and go for it understandable well if you've been watching this um video and you know you've been thinking to yourself how am i going to leave my nine to five and start working full time you know doing something that you absolutely love to do people like athena can actually help you set up your business set up your websites and also give you the multiple streams of income that she has proposed to actually help you out um, you know, so that you can uh, start creating a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and you can actually start sharing your gifts and talents to the rest of the world. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And you will be obviously having people like Athena that are more than happy to share their expertise and their experience in their various um, fields. Athena, thank you so much once again uh, for being on our show today. Thank you for having me. Great stuff. Prosperity Show, and today we've got the business mindset coach herself, Anita. Anita, how are you doing, my love? Hi there, I'm good, thank you. It's actually Athena. Athena. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. <laughs> Sorry. So